Welcome to Zen Gaming. I'm Zen. Got a little bit of a try not to laugh challenge for you for this review. If you can make it through this review without laughing, then I want you to roast me in the comments and I mean truly burn me down. But if you do laugh, then I want you to subscribe. Think you can handle it? Let's find out. Now I just finished playing the riveting Black Mesa, a Valve approved fan update of Half-Life, one of the greatest games of all time. Black Mesa feels like an homage to the original Half-Life and still includes the incomprehensible scientist hero Gordon Freeman, a man that runs out of breath and gets sweaty just wiping his own ass, but is still somehow capable of defending Earth from hordes of evil aliens while strangely taking time out to bad touch a couple of them. Hmm. What are you... Yeah, that's not appropriate. You don't do that. That's not appropriate. Gordon... This odd choice of protagonist is easily overlooked, though, as the rich storytelling immerses you from the very beginning of the game as you literally play through the opening credits like you're living in a movie. Most of the levels of Black Mesa are similar, if not identical, to the original game, but with updated graphics, models, and music, which is absolutely amazing. But they didn't stop there, because they actually updated some levels, most notably the extended Zen, to an astounding hour and a half. The later levels of the game feel like what Half-Life should have been, and that's not to mention the final boss fight, which I won't spoil, but has to be seen to be believed. My jaw was on the floor for the intense final battle as it completely blew away the concept of the original game's last confrontation, which felt like a lopsided boxing match. Television too brutal to watch, yet you can't turn away. Now let's break down aspects of the game and get to my rating. The NPC models are much more varied than the original version and lend to a feeling that you're interacting with people instead of copy and paste clones. The textures are richer and the action is lag free. By today's standards, the graphics are by no means comparable to something like The Last of Us 2, which would mean a rating of 3.5, but by comparison to the original Half-Life, it's a shocking standout improvement worthy of a solid 5. So to be fair, I'm averaging the two scores and giving it a 4 out of 5. The story by today's standards is nothing new, but when the original was released, it was an eye-opening new take on the Doom scenario, combined with a rich way of telling the story. The game is an immersive cinematic experience that starts when you step into the shoes of Gordon Freeman. Hell, the first chapter plays out like opening credits to a movie, and the rest of the game continues to feel like you're living out a blockbuster story. And a bonus is that it yields a considerable amount of jump scares. They had some problems here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, you got me. For that, I give it a four out of five. Overall, the game runs smooth as silk, barring the loading screens between sections. This isn't an open world game, so that is sadly still to be expected. But the action is fast, vibrantly colorful, and refreshingly varied. Each action sequence feels unique and adds to the immersion. However, it's not all positive. Despite the insanely beautiful updates to the alien world, the Zen and Interloper levels were excruciatingly long. I had to keep pausing to see if I was really still playing the same level. And let's be clear, normally with a game this phenomenal, I wouldn't be complaining about extra playtime. But the levels were painfully long because of the puzzles. For an action game, the puzzles were occasionally frustrating and broke the pacing of the game. Because of exorbitantly lengthy puzzles in these later levels, I had to drop this down from a perfect 5 to a solid 4. Having not known much about this updated version, I was ecstatic to be surprised by the ingenious musical score. Throughout the game, you are suddenly playing to a synthwave or trip-hop song that fits the flow of the moment absolutely perfectly.
The music revolutionizes the feel of the game and exponentially adds to the immersive movie-like feel. Easily a 5 on this one. Overall, to be honest, playing this game brought on a huge sense of nostalgia that bordered on an emotional outpouring. Despite the occasionally lengthy chapters and frustrating puzzles, this update was epic. From the storytelling to the music, I love nearly every moment of this game. It's an absolute must-play whether you enjoyed the original or have heard your grandparents reminiscing about it and are just curious what got their diapers lumpy. There's a link in the description for where to buy the game should you decide it's worth a play, which it definitely is. 4.25 out of 5.